Good morning, good morning, ladies. Happy Tuesday morning. And this morning we are gonna give a, a neutral look for someone that maybe doesn't wear a lot of makeup or is a beginner and has, so as you can see on my face, I've got a lot of splotchiness, a lot of unevenness. It just doesn't look um, flawless, okay? So what I'm gonna show you is some great tips and some great um, products to help just kind of smooth all this out and just give you a flawless look without really looking like you have a lot of makeup on, okay? So stick around with me, ladies. Ask whatever questions that you have and then we will get started. Good morning, Shelly. Say hi when you hop on, and if you are watching a replay, if you can put hashtag replay or number one, so that way I can go back and thank you for watching my videos. My name is Shelly, and I am a unique presenter, and um, I appreciate you watching my videos, and I hope that you find value, and if you find value, chances are some of your girlfriends on your wall is going to find value as well. So if you can hit that share button down at the bottom, I so much appreciate it. So that way they can see these amazing tips and tricks as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I have moisturized my face, ladies, and done my skincare routine this morning. And then always, as always, the first thing that you want to do is put on your glorious face primer. And the reason why you want to put on primer is because it's going to make your makeup last longer throughout the day. And this is about how much you need. Okay. So you can use it sparingly, but in your T-zone ladies, I usually really pack it on because what primer does is it keeps cosmetics out of your pores and it's also going to help you lose use less product and it's just going to give you a nice um, smooth finish when you apply your cosmetics okay so what I do is I put it in my t-zone first and then I feather it out because my pores here on my nose and through here as most women have are much larger through there so you want to make sure that you really get it into those pores really nice and pack it into there dab you will hear me throughout my videos say a lot of tapping and dabbing not so much swiping okay because when you swipe then you're moving the product around on your face but if you dab and tap then it's going into your skin which don't be concerned because you're putting your moisturizers and your primers and things into your skin first which is good. It has um, oils and nutrients and things like that into your skin instead of cosmetics right into your skin first. Okay, so make sure that you're always using a good primer. All right. And ladies, uh, once I'm finished with this video, I will put my website in the comments section. So that way, if you have any questions or if you see any of these products that you would like to order, feel free um, to go onto my website and if you have questions or you need color match definitely um, definitely ask me questions okay so the next thing that I'm gonna do now you see a lot of discoloration you see um, redness you see age spots you see dark spots girls you just see a lot of aging okay so what I want to do is I want to cover that up, but I don't want to cover up to where I don't look like Shelly. So this is where I'm going to show you how to just enhance even more of the beauty that you have and just kind of make it look flawless. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for the hearts. Okay. So this is our liquid foundation it comes in multiple colors and it has a dropper so the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you get all of your product out of the dropper so that way when you're shaking it that product that's going to come out first is good and shaken as well and then i am using our liquid foundation brush okay which is one of my absolute faves now what i have been doing is i've been applying this right onto my skin instead of into my brush and the reason why i've been doing that is to use again less product I mean we don't want to waste product so I just basically put it right onto my skin and then I dab it into my skin now ladies I want you to notice 
what I'm doing. Okay, I'm dabbing it right here into my T-zone first. And then we're going to feather it out, okay? Because we want to make sure we get a really good coverage. Now, yes, you can use more product, but I want to make it more sheer out here on the sides, okay? And what I'm doing, too, is I am avoiding this area right here. In the mornings, ladies, I don't know if anybody else has this issue, but in the mornings, especially in the winter, I will wake up in the morning and I sneeze about 20 times. My sinuses go crazy until about noon. And then after that, I don't have a problem with it at all. Okay, so once I dab all this in, then you're going to buff it into your skin and you're going to buff it, feathering it out. Okay, so about noon, then everything's dried up. These right here go away. And it's fine till the very next morning. So in the morning, I do have a lot of puffiness. So that's when I, in the mornings, I will spritz on my rose water as soon as I get out of the shower because that helps with inflammation and things like that as well. I should have grabbed another clippy. Okay, so here's the thing with this liquid foundation. We have, it's a medium coverage. Okay, so if you are looking at me right now, you were sitting next to me, and remember, ladies, to get down here on your neck, okay? You always wanted your neck and your face to match. But if you were sitting next to me compared to just a few seconds ago, you would look at me and think, is she wearing foundation or is she not wearing foundation? Now, the feel of this foundation, it goes on liquid, dries to a powder. It is so lightweight. You really, and ladies, you ladies that are on here watching this, comment below and let the other ladies that have not tried this product yet, let them know Shelly's right. I mean, you don't feel like you're wearing anything. So what I could do is just put another layer on here, okay, or I could just take the medium coverage and roll on with it and you will look fine because you do see you know, where you don't see as much unevenness, but I'm going to show you ladies what I do. Okay, so I'll put a thin layer. Okay, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to help with this right here first. Okay, so now this is going to give you a tightening. It's going to, I don't have too bad of deep set wrinkles, but Ladies that do, you're going to absolutely love this product. This is our serum our instant lifting serum. Okay, so what I do is I, you pat it onto your skin and then, I don't know, within a couple minutes, you're gonna start feeling tightening. Now this will last up to eight hours, okay? Women with more deeper lines, experienced lines, you're gonna see probably more of a notice than us ladies that um, maybe not have as deep set of lines, but we all get benefits from it. It's an anti-aging. So even you young girls, you know, in your thirties and your forties, start using this stuff now because what it does is it helps prevent them getting worse. Okay. So this is what I do for my under eyes. I'll take my skin perfecting concealer. Okay. I'm going to dab a little bit onto the back of my hand. The reason why I put it on the back of my hand is because it will start warming up the product, which will make it go on smoother. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my concealer brush and I'm going to take a little bit. I'm almost out. So I have to take the lid off and it doesn't take much. And ladies, this dries pretty quickly. So I'm just going to put a swipe on the side of my hand. Okay, just enough product. I'm going to have to get another, just enough product to mix it with my concealer. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to dab this right underneath my eyes. Okay, now, ladies, we usually, our dark areas are usually right here. All right, we usually don't have dark, a lot of dark over here. So what I do again, I will take it into my T-zone and then feather it out. And when you're concealing, you wanna take it down to about where your nose is. So you wanna do like an upside down triangle, okay? 
and then just kind of dab that into your skin. Then what I take is I take a not saturated, but a damp blending bud. And then I'm just going to press this into my skin. Okay. So when you use it damp, it's going to mix with the product and it's going to go on a lot simpler, a lot smoother. And it's also going to keep it um, not to dry out on you as quick. All right. So just kind of dab that into your skin until you get it nice and smooth. Okay. And like I said, when you're putting on your concealer, you want it thicker here. And then you're just going to blend it out. And ladies, when you're blending, when you're tapping, you always want to use your ring finger because that is lighter to the touch. And on your face, this area is the thinnest and the most um, gentle touch that you want to use, okay? And like I said, when you highlight, now you can see a little bit of puffiness. If I just highlighted that right there and didn't take it down to the, my to my nose, this is just going to accentuate it. It's going to brighten it. It's going to really highlight the back. So I want to take it under to about right here. Okay. And I use a couple shades lighter to add brightness. So you're going to see some brightness underneath your eye as well. Okay. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another thin layer of my liquid foundation not very much at all okay and I'm just gonna kind of go over the top in the areas that I feel that maybe needs a little bit of extra attention and I'm also gonna blend that line that I have now you can use the same colors as well ladies if you're not interested in brightening underneath your eyes and you're just wanting coverage then get the same color as your liquid foundation okay but if you want more brightness and more awake awakeness to your face then go a couple shades lighter and like i said if you need any help with any of this ladies i can definitely help you now get those ears too because especially if you have shorter hair you don't want this color and this color different so make sure that you cover up those ears too or if you wear earrings because that's going to draw attention to your face Okay, now ladies with sun damage, you can take this concealer, and ladies, we don't waste anything. And you can just tap that right over your sun damage. I have a, a lot right through here. This will cover anything and everything. Women that um, have rosacea, girls, this stuff covers rosacea. It covers tattoos. It covers any problem areas that you have, dark spots, age spots, freckles, scarring. I don't care what it is, it covers it. This stuff is amazing. We call it Photoshop in a bottle. Okay, now the final thing that I do as far as setting my base, okay, my canvas for the rest of my face, I take my touch um, pressed powder, girls, this to me is what sets your makeup and it just makes everything flow it makes it mattified and it just looks amazing so what i do is i just kind of press that into my skin again i make sure that i get my t-zone really well okay and then i just buff it out now this is what's going to end up putting that little extra coverage without a heavy feel I'm telling you ladies it does not give you a heavy feel and it just kind of blends everything together to give you that Photoshop finish and to make you look like you're not really wearing anything and then here's a tip ladies powder is not our friends right here so when I am buffing this in I very gently lightly go over this because I want it to set I don't want it to move throughout the day, but I don't want it to look cakey either. Now, if you're having a cakey feel, FYI, bump up your moisturizer because this old man winter's around in everybody's backyard. And ladies, this is the time of the year that it's really, really hard on our skin. So if you moisturize, 
double moisturize this time of the year. You'll want to make sure that you put a ton of moisture on, okay? All right, so now that we have our face done, I will take our beachfront bronzer, and remember, ladies, we're keeping it just as a neutral look today, okay? So I will take our uh, bronzer. It comes in three different shades. I am using Hermosa, and I'm going to place... When you're placing your uh, bronzer, you want to go to the top of your ear and you want to go into your hairline because you don't want one color here and one color here. So make sure that you're getting up into that hairline and then any gray hairs that might be there, ladies, is covering as well. So that's a double tip. All right, so basically you're going to just kind of dab this into your skin. Now, imagine there's an imaginary line, okay? You don't want to go past that line because the more that you draw this downward, it's going to pull your face downward. So you want to keep everything, your bronze or your blush or your highlighter, on the past the imaginary line, okay? So just kind of dab that in right here. What that's going to do is it's going to add dimension to your jaw okay where it's not going to look so flat and then you can just kind of buff it in once you get it into your skin okay then do the other side again right where your hairline is just kind of dab it in now ladies a little extra thing that i want you to know that i do any customers that purchases my product i will messenger them okay once they get their product if they want and then I will, because on Messenger, you also have a video to where she has her product, I have my product, and her and I sit here privately. And I'm like, okay, girl, take your product and do this. So I do that with my customers as just as a thank you for purchasing from me. And I want to make sure that they know how to apply their products, that they're happy with their products. So just as an FYI, if you purchase from me, that's a little benefit that you get. Okay, so basically what I'm doing is I'm just going around my hairline. Now, if you have a lower forehead or hairline, ladies, you don't want to take it up here at the top. But if you have a higher hairline, what you want to do is you want to shade this because what you want to do is all light to pull forward through here. And anything higher, you want it to kind of fade back into the hairline, okay? And then you're just basically going to make it like a number three or a backward E, all right? And then you'll go not on top of your jawline, not under it, right on the edge of your jawline. And then just kind of blend that out to make it more of a sharper edge. And it also camouflages this, what's going on down here, if you have that, okay? And then just kind of blend it down through your neck, all right? So what that's done is um, has added a little bit of dimension to your face and then if you want to you don't have to but you can just lightly and I'm pinching my brush lightly go down the sides of your nose to maybe if you feel like your nose is a little bit wider and it just kind of gives a little bit of um, dimension to that as well thins it out okay and then you can go underneath here put a little bit of shadowing underneath there as well all right, so that, ladies, is our uh, light contouring to our face, okay? Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a neutral eyeshadow. Now, girls, this eyeshadow is absolutely amazing. I love our splurge cream shadows. They come in matte or shimmer, and you they come from light to absolutely dark. So depending on your skin tone, if you are wanting, you know, just a neutral color, you don't really like a whole lot of color, but you just want to, you know, cover up some discoloration that you have. Maybe some ladies have some veins through here, capillaries that has, you know, showing. Um, there's all kinds of colors that you can use, and I can help you with that. So here is like three neutrals in our splurge cream shadows, okay? Um, that you can use. I'm going to use this one today, which is in the color Grateful. And I'm going to take our uh, Splurge Cream Shadow Brush, okay? Now, this goes on cream, dries to a powder, just like your face, like the liquid foundation. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dab it into my product. 
and then I'm just going to dab it right onto my eyelid. Now, ladies, these are buildable as well. You can put a thin layer or you can put a thicker layer. It just depends on you. So what this is basically doing is just making a flawless canvas versus the other side, okay? So you see some redness, some dark areas. So it's just gonna give you more of a neutral, without adding color, a more neutral look to your eye. If you have freckles on your eyelids and you don't necessarily care for those, it just depends on you, all right? Then what I will do once I place it is just kind of take a blending brush and blend it all out just to soften it up, okay? Now, one thing that I forgot to do is we're not going to do brows on this video, I guess, because I didn't really get any brow products. So one thing that I will do, I know what I'll do. Okay, so we have this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use one of my brow or my line. My eyeliners for my brow pencils, I guess. I don't usually use liners for my brows, but so I don't have to get up, I will do that today for you ladies. Okay, so let's see. We're going to use the color I am looking for. Hopefully I have one. Okay, so we're going to use the color Prim. And I'm just going to do a quick sweep over the top of my brows, all right? So these are, our, uh, we have eye and lip pencils, okay? You can use them for your eyeliner, you can use them for your lips, you can use them for your brows. I usually don't use these for our brows, but, you know, on an emergency, obviously you can. So I'm just going to kind of fill this in. Now, ladies, my brows usually look a little bit different than this, but it's okay. I just want to show you how quick and easy. Look at the difference. Just, you know, just kind of fill in this in with this eyeliner pencil. The difference that it makes. Look at that. So we're going to do the other side. Just the little subtle differences. I'm telling you, it makes a huge difference. So you just want to kind of fill in, take like a straight line up here to, an, to the corner and then downward. And when you go downward, anytime ladies, you want to go outward. All right. Okay. So that's somewhat. And then what I'm going to do is I will take my concealer again. And then just kind of pop that brow bone up. And remember, ladies, this isn't some big glam look. This is just a neutral. And you can do it a lot quicker if you're not chatting like me. But what I'll do is I will take my concealer with my concealer brush. And I'll just kind of outline this brow just to make that brow look a little bit lifted, corrected on my lines and um, lighter. It makes your brow bone pop out as well, okay? So just some little subtle hints and tips and tricks, and then I'll go up through here and kind of straighten up that line if I've overdrawn it or anything like that. And then again, I'll take my uh, foundation pressed powder blush brush and just kind of tap that in just to kind of set it. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take a neutral eyeliner and then we're going to add mascara and then we're done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my prim just like what I used for my brow. All right, this is a very neutral and I'm going to go right on the top of my lash line. And this is a neutral color, okay? And, which let me show you, we have other colors, ladies. It just depends on how light you want to go. So you can use um, a black, you can use a brown, or you can use a um, prim for your liner. It just depends on what you want to do and the look that you're going for. So let's just kind of line these up.
And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, you can use this color that I just used, Prim, on your waterline here. But I'm going to use the color black, which is the color name Perfect, right here on my waterline underneath. And then I'm going to go above here into this lash line, which is what we call tight lining. Okay, so what that's going to do is it's going to make your lashes look thicker before you even put on any mascara because you have filled in that area where you maybe see skin in between your lashes. So just that little tip will make it look a lot fuller. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to take our Epic Mascara. This is our one-step mascara that let, makes your lashes up to 400% longer, okay? And it is amazing. So we have two mascaras. We have our 3D Fiber Mascara, and then we have our Epic Mascara. The 3D Fiber has the separate tube for the fibers. But this one will give you just as good a length without the fibers, and it's a one step. All right, so we're just going to put a quick touch of mascara. And ladies, to really get those curled, um, using a curler on your lashes really makes a difference too. So I forgot to do that side. So you grab your lashes, and you'll want to hold them for about 30 to 60 seconds, okay? Get a nice, good curl, and then also turn your curler up and hold that one more time to curl that side, too. You'll see a big difference as well as having your lashes curled. And our Epic Mascara, I don't know what's in it, but it also helps for curling as well. I do notice with our Epic that my lashes will curl when I put my mascara on, okay? So now that we have, and this is buildable, I mean, you can put as many layers as you want. We'll just put um, one more on this side. And then I'm going to put on some lip liner and lip gloss, and then we will be done for our quick neutral look. All right. Okay, so now we're going to use um, our pouty liner, which is a very neutral. And ladies, when you're lining your lips, okay, when you're lining your lips, you can overline your lips to make your lips seem a little bit more fuller, a little bit more plumpier. But when you overline your lips, you don't want to do the entire lip. You want to go about a quarter of the way down, overline right under here, and then back onto your normal line. And then same thing up here. You want to go here right on your line, then you can over, and then back to the normal line. Okay? And that's going to give the illusion of a bigger lip. Okay? Now, what you can do is just line your entire lip with this lip liner, but that's going to give you more of a matte look. So if you like the glossy feel, I would recommend that you use our Lux Lip Gloss, which is a neutral, neutral gloss, okay, to add a little bit of moisture and shine. To it as well okay so ladies here is our neutral look if you go back about 10 minutes prior to you saw a lot of unevenness you saw um, you know dark circles you saw a little bit more tiredness now I have the brightening under the eyes I've just kind of smoothed everything out without looking like I have a lot of makeup on so it's light to the touch. It's um, very soft. Thank you, Shelly. It is just a perfect uh, way to start your day. It makes you feel good. 
you know, just kind of uh, putting a little bit of something onto your face makes a huge, huge difference. And like I said, you're already gorgeous. You're already beautiful. But what this does is it just kind of enhances um, your beautiness and it makes you just feel so much better for whatever reason it just does, you know, just making sure that, you know, everything is um, smooth and flawless and you know, you don't have a lot of unevenness going on. So anyway, I uh, thank you for watching. And like I said, if you find value in this video, if you can hit the share button onto your wall, maybe some of your girlfriends may be looking for the same thing. So have a good day, ladies, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.